The U.S. grain markets have entered primetime weather market season. In general, U.S. corn yields on a national scale are a function of weather patterns during the month of July. A sufficient amount of rainfall in July is enough to produce huge yields. A hot and dry July could result in a below-trend national corn yield. Other factors, of course, have an impact, although July weather may be the biggest factor. Most of the U.S. Corn Belt and Plains will deal with a bout of hot and dry weather during the second half of June. The corn and soybean markets have perhaps built some weather premium as a result. New crop corn futures trade near record levels seasonally. It's a rare occurrence to see corn futures for fall delivery trade above $7 in June, although it's happened a couple of times before. August is perhaps the more important month in regard to soybean production in the U.S. when it comes to weather, although the row crop markets tend to move in tandem. The markets will be subject to big-time volatility with every shift in the weather models this time of year.